Hi everybody, Aggie back with ProSource Athletics YouTube uh, channel. Uh, today, I wanted to talk to you about grips on different pitches. So we're gonna start with fastball, and the reason we start with fastball is because that's your number one pitch. No matter what, you've gotta be able to command the fastball. You've gotta be able to throw that thing for strikes. You gotta be able to make it spin, uh, hopefully have a little bit of run to a little bit of action on the pitch. And uh, so we're gonna talk about some of the grips that you can handle with a fastball. Here we go. So we've got a four seam grip. Now, when I'm doing a four seam grip, notice what I've got here. I've got the C of the seams, and I've just got my middle finger and ring finger across those. I've got my, or I'm sorry, middle finger and pointer finger across those. I've got my ring finger on another seam right here, and I might even have my thumb underneath the fastball, and I might tuck that on that seam. The reason why we're doing that is because we're trying to create backspin on that ball out of our hand like this. That's going to give it life, jump. Uh, velocity, that sort of thing. It's going to contribute to it. <clears throat> when I create friction on the seams, I'm going to create better spin. So a four seam fastball, you, you see it on stat track, uh, track man and all that type of stuff where you see the, the spin rates and um, and seeing how, how many times a ball spins out of a guy's hand. And the guys that have generally the highest spin rates have the best fastballs. And so they're really getting friction on that ball as they spin it, four seam. Four seam is gonna be your straightest, hardest fastball, uh, generally speaking. And this is also a great way to hold the ball if you're an infielder, if you're an outfielder. If you hold it like a two seamer, which I'm about to show you in a second, <clears throat> what you'll find happen is that ball will tail on you quite a bit, especially if you get out front with your body and your arm starts its pronation. So here's a two seam fastball. Again, we're not having any difference, wrist position, on our four seam is right behind the baseball. You can see it's squared up behind the baseball. Two seam is the same thing. I'm not cocking it to the side or anything like that. Two seam, for the younger kids, what I always say is it's right in the railroad tracks. Okay, you got two seams right there. I try and put my fingers inside that. The pressure is gonna be on this pointer finger as I release, okay? And now I've got my thumb, again, underneath the baseball on a seam trying to create that friction. As I get out front, my arm's gonna start its pronation through and I've got that little pressure right here. And hopefully if I do it right, my body stays in its lane, <clears throat> excuse me, then what's gonna happen is the ball's gonna come in, it's gonna look like a, a good strike right there, and then right at the last second, boom, you're gonna get a little bit of a little bit of tail right there. And so hopefully that's diagonal tail because hitters can stay on flat fastballs on a two seam. It's very hard for them to stay on a two seam fastball that's sinking. You might have heard her referred to as a sinker. So um Round ball, round bat, we always go back to that. If we have a ball, I mean, if we're seeing a ball out of a pitcher's hand <clears throat> and we have a round bat and there's a round ball coming and that thing starts to move diagonally, it's very hard for us to get on top of that ball as a hitter. So as a pitcher, I wanna try and create as much of that late movement, as much of that late diagonal sink as possible. So today, those are just two of the fastballs that we can uh, work on. We're gonna show you this live um, <clears throat> down the road. And so we look forward to uh, keep those questions coming. And uh, as always, subscribe to value. Thanks so much.